Welcome to Fresh Waters, spiritual reflections helping you to grow in faith. Today's session is Be Transformed. The key concept is, it is God's will for us to be transformed in our hearts and in our actions. The scripture today is from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. Jesus began his ministry by preaching repentance. Matthew wrote, From that time on, Jesus began to preach, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. To repent is to change one's mind from living for yourself to living for God. The main point of repentance is change. The purpose of all preaching is that we may be changed. The reason that we have spiritual activities like discipleship, prayer meetings, outreach, is so that we can grow in our spiritual journey and we would be transformed. As we read earlier, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. As we are being transformed, we become more and more like Jesus. Paul wrote to the Corinthians and said, And we, who with unveiled faces all reflect the Lord's glory, are being transformed into his likeness with ever-increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. If we need to change, what needs changing in our lives? The Bible is very clear at the core of the matter. It is our hearts that needs changing. The Bible tells us the heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure. Who can understand it? Jesus said, For from within, out of men's hearts, come evil thoughts, sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, lewdness, envy, slander, arrogance, and folly. All these evils come from inside and make a man unclean. Many may think, that their hearts are right with God, when the opposite is true. Even David acknowledged his own sinfulness and in need of a pure heart. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. David later sang, The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. The Lord told Ezekiel how he will change our hearts. I will give them an undivided heart and put a new spirit in them. I will remove from them their heart of stone and give them a heart of flesh. If we want to be transformed by God, it begins with our hearts. And as our hearts are changed, it results in the change in our actions. When Paul wrote to the Corinthians, he described some of the sins that the Corinthians were engaged in before they came to Christ. They were wicked and had no part in the kingdom. Paul wrote, Do you not know that the wicked will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither the sexually immoral nor idolaters nor adulterers, nor male prostitutes, nor homosexual offenders, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor slanderers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. But Paul does not stop there. The next verse, verse 11, is a beautiful verse. Paul wrote, And that is what some of you were. But you were washed, you were sanctified, 
you are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. You see, coming to Jesus not only changes your heart, but it also changes your life and your actions. Being a follower of Jesus is about putting off the old self and changing into a new self. The Apostle Paul wrote, You were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds, and to put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. He also wrote to the Colossians, You used to walk in these ways in the life you once lived. But now you must rid yourselves of all such things as these. Anger, rage, malice, slander, and filthy language from your lips. Do not lie to each other, since you have taken off your old self with its practices and have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge in the image of its creator. It is God's will for us to be transformed in our hearts and in our actions. We began this journey in fresh waters with Romans chapter 12 verses 1 and 2 and we will end our journey with where we began. Therefore I urge you brothers in view of God's mercy to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Here we see that transformation in heart and life comes when we renew our minds with the thoughts of God's word instead of the noise of the world. My prayer for you is that you will grow in the worship of God, in a walk with God, through the word of God, being a witness of God, doing the work of God, expressing the warmth of God, in the will of God. May you be transformed to be more like Jesus each day. Just think about it. What evidence do you have that God is changing you? What noises in the world are hindering your change? Do you see how God is changing others? What one thing will you do this week to renew your mind? May God bless you in your spiritual journey.